Hi friends, my name is Akhil Ahmed and in this particular video tutorial I will show you how you can equally export the data from a SQL Server table to three CSV files using SSIS. So we will see how we can equally export the data to three CSV files using SSIS. So let's jump to the demo. I have SQL Server 2019 instance and I got a work database and in the work database I got a table, email table and this table contains 1000 number of records. So if I remove the top clause from here and if I execute the query again, so you can see there are 1000 records in this particular table. And now I want to export the data to three different files like email underscore one, email underscore two and email underscore three. So what should happen that each file should contain around 333 records. Okay. So how we can achieve this using the SSIS. So there is an entire function in SQL Server which can be used to divide a particular data set into multiple parts. Okay. So for example, uh, if you want to divide the this particular table into three parts, then we can pass a value as three into the entire function and it can divide the whole data into three different parts. So let me show you how we can use the entire function. So we need to write entire and then we need to pass the number of parts like how many parts you want to divide the data into. So I want to divide the data into three parts so I can pass the value as three over order by and then we need to pass a column so I can pass the column as email ID and then I can just call this particular column as part okay and now if I execute the query then you can see a new column part has been added here and if you scroll down then for some records it is like the value is one for some records the value is two and now for the rest of the records the value is three. So what exactly this has done that it has divided the data all data equally into three different parts okay and now because we got a column part here and whose data is divided into three parts so now we can easily insert the data to three different CSV files okay so let me do one thing that let me copy this particular query from here let me open the SSIS package so this is my blank SSIS package and I will be using a data flow task here and uh, yeah so let me configure the data flow task because our source is a SQL server table so I will be using an OLDB source here let me make a connection here and make a connection to the work database click OK now under data access mode I can select SQL command and then I can paste the query here okay so this is the SQL query and if you check the column so now we got an extra column part here and rest of the all columns have been selected from the source table now I can click on OK now because we want to divert the data on a particular condition to three different destinations so that's why we can use a conditional split transformation here okay now we can connect the OLEDB source with the conditional split transformation and now we can right click and configure the conditional split transformation under conditions now let me just drag and drop the column part into the condition and let me write a condition here like if part double equal to one so if the part value is one then this will be our part one output okay and similarly I can copy this one and paste it here and if part equal to 2 then this will be the part 2 output okay and similarly if the value of the part will be 3 then the output will be as part 3 now what will happen because the data from the source will be coming and the value of the part will be either 1 or 2 or 3 so if the value of the part will be 1 then in new output will be created as part 1 and all the data that will verify this condition will be migrated to the part 1 similarly all the records those are coming from the source table and the value is part 2 all the records will be migrated to the part 2 and similarly all the records where the part value is 3 then they will be migrated to the part 3 output so there will be three outputs from the conditional split and there will be one default output as well okay so let me click on ok and now because we want to write the data to three different CSV files so we can just drag and drop the flat file destination into the data flow task and then we can configure these three flat file destinations so let me just rename the first flat file destination as email1 and let me call this one as email2 and let me call the third flat file destination as email3 okay and now let me just connect the conditional split transformation with the email one and I will select the option part one here similarly for the email two I will select the condition part two here and similarly for part three I will select the option as part three here okay so now I have connected the destination component successfully 
and now let me go back to the location where I want to generate the file. So I want to generate the three files at this particular location, D files location. But first of all, I need to create the empty files here. So let me just create the empty files here and I can call my file as email underscore one dot CSV. And now I can copy and paste the file again and I can call the second file as email underscore two and I can paste the third file and I can call it as email underscore three so the three blank files have been created and now I can go back to the SSIS package and let me configure the email one so I can click on edit click new to create a new flat file connection click OK I will call this connection manager as email one and I can browse the file the CSV file that I created email underscore one dot CSV click open column names in the first data row so I can click on this checkbox and now I can go to the advanced and I can remove the part column from here because I don't need this column in the CSV file and now I can click on OK I can check the mapping so all input columns have been mapped with the destination column so I can click on OK so email one has been configured similarly let me configure the email two as well create a new flat file connection click OK and I can call this particular connection manager as email two I can change the value to CSV files and I can select the email underscore 2.csv click open column names in the first data row click on advanced and I can remove the part column from here click OK and if you check the mapping so all input columns have been mapped with the destination column so I can click on OK now similarly let me just configure the email 3 as well click new to create a new flat file connection manager and I can call the connection manager as email 3 and I can browse the email underscore 3 CSV file from here click open I can click on the column names in the first data row and then I can go to the advanced and I can delete the part column from here click OK I can check the mappings here so the mapping seems good click OK so I have configured the SSIS package and this is how you can just export the data from one SQL server to the three different CSV files and suppose if you want to export the data to multiple files so maybe if you want to export the data to 10 files or 15 files then this particular method won't work and I will create another video and I will show you how you can export the data from a SQL server table to 10 different files equally okay and of course we won't be using the 10 destination there so we will use the for each loop container in that particular scenario but if you want to just export the data to two files or three files then I think this method is best okay so let me execute the SSIS package and this should equally export the data to three CSV files so now you can see 1000 records came from the source table and 334 records went to the first file 333 records inserted to the second file and 333 records inserted to the third file and now let me open the D files location and now you can see that the data has been inserted to all the three files as the size of the file has grown so let me open the first file from here and it should contain 334 records so you can see that the file contains 335 lines and the first line is the header line so that's why there are 334 records in this particular file and the email ID starts from like 1, 2, 3, 4 and now let me check the second file as well and this file should contain 333 records so you can see that it contains 334 lines but one line is the header line so that's why the actual data is 333 records and the email ID starts from the 335, 336, 337 okay and if, if I show you the third file then the actual data will be 333 records in it and the one line is the header line and the ID starts from like 668, 669 something like this okay so the data has been equally exported to three different CSV files using SSIS so I think that's it for today's video thank you guys for watching the video and if you like the video then please click the like button do subscribe to our channel press the bell icon and click on all so that you will be notified every time I upload a new video thank you so much